I-80 is back open tonight after a scene like this. Backed up for miles, closed for hours this afternoon because of a multi-vehicle crash. Iowa State Patrol says around 40 cars were involved in this, maybe more. At one point, school buses came in to get people out of the cold. They took them to the Iowa Speedway just a few miles away. Of course, winter weather was vicious for many people out on the road. So here with us now is Sergeant Alex Dinklow with the Iowa State Patrol. Thank you so much for being here. You bet. Thank you for having me. And we were just talking before the show about, you know, things that you saw in this crash today. It was a terrible crash. Um, and you've been seeing some trends with the crashes we've had here lately in Iowa. Yeah, you know, we look at the last snowstorm that we had and uh, this snowstorm and a common theme amongst a lot of vehicles that we've been seeing uh, go into the ditch, slide uh, into our roadways, shut our interstates down. It's our commercial motor vehicle truck traffic. Um, the 40 vehicle crash that we had today, uh, by and large, most of those vehicles that were involved in it today were, uh, were all the truck traffic. And we even have one up in Grundy County where there were seven semis involved in that one. And the, the big disturbing thing in that is that we see that these vehicles are traveling too fast for conditions. Uh, they might be loaded full of uh, supplies, uh, but when they need to stop, when there's an incident in the roadway, Unfortunately, they can't stop on a dime. It takes a great distance for them to be able to stop. And you did have some troopers that were involved in this in this accident, not injured though, correct? Thankfully, our, yeah, the two troopers that were involved were not injured. Um, actually, the way the accident happened, uh, pre preliminary indications, uh, they, they had gone up to assist another traffic crash that had happened. And within just a matter of minutes, it went from just a couple vehicles being involved to 40 vehicles. Uh, the interstate volume of traffic was just high and these were wide out conditions and the interstate roadway was completely ice covered. It, it was actually traveled not advised in that area. I mean, you can just see that in the pictures that we're showing right now. And these are dangerous situations for people that are, are stuck in this. What about the Good Samaritans who try to get out of their car and help? Would you advise that? What is your advice if someone's caught in an accident like this? You know, there might be certain snowstorms um, and certain times that we would uh, encourage uh, those good Samaritans to go out and help people, help other motorists. Uh, that's what I would like to do. We like to help people and we like to provide that assistance. Uh, but when we have snowstorms that are of this nature, uh, as we saw our two troopers today who are experts in going out, providing that assistance on the roadway, they have flashing lights and everything that's totally to make them visible. Um, we would encourage citizens to not stop in these environments because it is extreme dangerous conditions and you're only risking your life. Well, Sergeant Dinkla, we are very glad to hear that all of your troopers are safe tonight and we appreciate all the work you are doing in these snowstorms uh, to help keep us safe. I appreciate it. Thank you.